Hello everyone, welcome to the SQRT channel. In this video, I'm going to take another problem from 2015 Elon Mass Olympiad. Here in this problem, I have four equations. The equations that I have are in the notation of a cubic number plus a multiplication of two numbers equals to another cubic number. So basically I have a cube plus bc equals to d cube. I have b cube plus c d equals to a cube. I have c cube plus d a equals to b cube. And finally I have d cube plus a b equals to c cube. We know that a, b, c and d are real numbers and we need to find all possible answers for a, b, c and d. Let's see how we are going to solve this now. To solve it, I'm going to add these expressions together. The reason is for each equation, I have a cubic number plus another value equals to another cubic number. If you take a look at these, you will see that all four cubic numbers are going to appear on the left and right hand side if I add all these together. So basically, if I do that, I'm going to remove all these cubic numbers and I will end up with BC plus CD plus DA plus AB equals to zero. Now let's see how I'm going to use this for now. BC plus CD plus DA plus AB can be factored out. For the first two, I can factor out C and for the second two, I can factor out A. Then I will end up with C plus A times d plus b equals to zero. Obviously, it's possible to have zero for the first one or the second one or all of these cases. Now let's see how I'm going to solve this. To solve, I'm going to start with the first and the last equations. From the first, I can say a cube plus bc equals to d cube. But we found that c plus a in one case is going to be zero so i'm going to use negative a for c and replacing that for the first equation instead of using c i'm going to use negative a so i will end up with a cube minus a b equals to d cube i'm going to use the same approach but this time in the last equation i will have d cube plus AB equals to negative A to the power of three. Now, if you carefully consider these two new equations, you will see that basically A cube should be equals to negative A cube. Obviously, A equals to zero is an answer here. There is no other answer since I'm going to have A squared plus one equals to zero. And we know that A is a real number. So zero is the only answer for a and a plus c should be zero so c is going to be zero too now i'm going to focus on the first and the second equations and remember we found that a is going to be zero so a is zero c is zero so bc is going to go out as well and then i will have d cube equals to zero so d needs to be zero and I'm going to use the same approach, but for the second equation, C is zero, A is zero, so B needs to be zero too. So obviously zero, 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 zero for A, B, C, and D is going to be an answer. Now I'm going to move forward and try the other possible case that I had for D plus B equals to zero. If you apply the same approach, you're going to see that I will end up with the same zero, 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 zero for an answer. So we only have one set of values for A, B, C, and D, and that's the only possible value that we can have. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzles and mass involved activities and problems from different mass competitions around the globe, please subscribe to this channel. I hope to see you in the next video. This is the SQRT channel.